according to my calculations, this appears to be another mod review, which means Chimney should be showing up anytime now. Boom. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, you scared the crap out of me! <laughs> Hey, what's going on? Twitch is just Chimus of Fear, and welcome back to another Minecraft mod review. This mod is called the Industrial Farming Mod, and today I'm going to be showing you guys what this mod adds and how it's going to make your farming experiences better in Minecraft. So, if you want to check out the last mod review that I did, I reviewed the Superheroes Unlimited mod, and I'll be sure to put a link to that in the description below. But today, we're going to be looking at some new things, and the first thing we're going to be looking at is this thing called the Planter. As you can see here, this Planter has a different sort of inventory. Let me show you guys quickly how to craft this. So, you're going to take a piece of redstone an iron hoe, some uh, cobblestone in a pattern like this, and it's going to give you the planter. Now what this allows you to do when it's powered by redstone is it will automatically plant your farm. You need to place your planter below your farm like this, and I've gone ahead and pre-arranged a 5x5 five five square here, uh, which is going to be a uh, field size of 25. You can adjust this slider to adjust to what size field you'd like, and I'm going to set mine at 25. And basically what we're going to do here, since I have this powered by redstone, is once we hit this button, you can see now it has planted the crops. I have seeds in there. Uh, you can place carrots, potatoes. Uh, I think you can even place like reeds or sugarcane. Um, you can place all sorts of stuff. Anything that can be planted can be placed within the planter and you can use it to plant your uh, your crops. And of course, if you have a huge, huge, huge field and you don't feel like running around and dropping down seeds manually, you can just power this sucker up with redstone and be like, pow! Hit that button and then there you go you're gonna have automatic planet which is pretty cool now another cool thing and i just wanted to show this to you guys because it also plants on uh it plants cocoa cocoa beans on the jungle wood so in here i have some some cocoa beans if i hit this button ba bam <laughs> we've got cocoa beans already set up here on the jungle wood now i don't know if it's a glitch or not but it looks like these guys they've already grown fully and these guys are already halfway grown so I don't really know what's going on, but it's pretty sick. The next thing I want to look at is this thing right here called the clipper. And the clipper is used by, uh, you're going to take some shears, some redstone, and some cobblestone like this. It's going to give you the clipper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a spawn sheep egg here and this redstone torch. And when this, is, when this isn't powered, it's stationary like this. When it is powered, I will show you what it looks like. We've got some angry looking teeth that are just like nah, 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 nah. Uh, And they're basically what it's gonna do is if you have sheep in a pen like this the moment these sheep walk across the clipper It's gonna automatically shear the wool for uh, for you and then you can set this up Obviously, this is a very very basic sort of showing of what this mod can do if you're a little bit more complicated than myself You can hook this up to some water and have an automatic uh, dispenser of wool such that it will just funnel down the water trench into your back pocket or wherever you decide to keep your wool. But as you can see, it basically just shears the wool off the sheep. Pretty freaking cool, if I say so myself. Chimney, now, over, Chimney, excuse me? I'm lonely. You're, you're lonely? Yes. All right, hold on. <clears throat> so Pilot Pig, he seems to be kind of lonely. This right here is the manger. This right here, this thing, this thingy right here is the manger. You basically put carrots in this or whatever uh, material like that you like carrots. Yeah, I know we, we all know you like carrots. Yeah, okay. I love them. So the thing that, them, so that you need to know about this, if you want to breed pigs, you use carrots. If you want to breed cows, you use wheat. If you want to breed uh, chickens, you use seeds. Whatever animal you have in your pen, you want to breed them with using the manger. You put that item inside here. So pilot pig is apparently very lonely. Super lonely. And to craft this manger, you're going to put oak wood planks on top like this and iron ingots on the bottom. So let's go ahead and make pilot pig. Let's give him. Hey, Pilot Pig! Yo, brother! I heard you went on Match.com the other day. No, no, I didn't. <laughs> no, you did. You totally no, did. Okay, well, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, no, guess what? I, I contacted the girl. No, shut up. What? I contacted the girl that that you were in in uh, you in contact with. It, yeah, what? she's here. She's here. Here, look. No. It's Penelope. You're uh, in love already? Uh, oh my gosh! No. Uh oh. Hey. Hey, hey Pilot Pig. I Come love on, you. we don't want to see that. Baby. I know you made a baby. That's 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 wonderful. I made a baby. Okay, that's just rude. I made a baby! Oh, wow, wow, that's I made a baby! Rude. Unbelievable. I'm, Bye, you're a jerk. I made a baby! Okay, so the last thing I want to take a look at here is the scanner. And the scanner, basically the way that, that I can describe this is that it sort of scans your the area that you design to to tell you how much, I made a baby. how many animals are in a given area. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do here today is I'm gonna show you guys how to craft this. So we've got cobblestone on the edges, uh, glass like this, and then redstone in the middle. And I'm going to take some chickens here. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, draw a signal out like this. Basically, what uh, I have pre-designed pre here is that I have a 7x7 seven seven area of iron blocks here. And so I'm going to say the scanned area is 7x7. Seven seven, 
and I'm placing down this block on that area. So this area is going to be scanned. And let's say once the animal count reaches uh, five, then if when we say detect children, uh, it will light up. So if we go one, two, three, four, five, as soon as there's five chickens in this area, this uh, redstone will uh, will light up. Now, once the once a chicken leaves outside of this area, as you can see, if he goes all the way outside, there we go. Uh, the redstone pulse goes off. So. I'm sure a lot of you redstone experts <clears throat> out there are probably getting some really crazy and cool ideas on how to utilize the scanner. This is merely just a video a mob showcase or a mod showcase, a mob showcase. <laughs> I'm showing you mobs and Mr. Mr. Chicken and Pilot Pig over here. What do you say to me, boy? No, I, I, I was just using you as an example. Don't worry about it. Yeah, well, um, boy, I'm a father now. Basically, the, there are a lot of cool things that you can do with this. Uh, but like I said, because this is just sort of a, a an overview of this mod, I just sort of wanted to give you a taste of what this can do. So that's pretty much it. That is the industrial farming mod. I hope that you guys enjoyed this mod review. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you're new to my channel or new to these videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. And um, I will continue to entertain all of you with some fun Minecraft content. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Once again, my name is Jimmy Swift 11 and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.